Okay, well, now, the other day I made a video saying if I could only keep one thing on my wall. Now, first of all, black powder's not on my wall, um, so that didn't count in the equation. But uh, number two, uh, this time, <laughs> I'm going to change it up and say if I could only keep one less lethal thing, because the thing I picked was not less lethal. It was my Western Sidewinder, I mean my Western Rattler 357. <clears throat> but if I could only take one less lethal thing with me, period, I guess this would probably be it at least this week. Now this is this has been this is my favorite kinetic launcher by by far. Um I like it just with balls in it. I don't like to try any chemicals in it. I don't like to do any shaped in it. It's pushing 70 something. I can't remember. It doesn't even have the uh the chamber cap or anything. It's just naturally going. Um so huh, I got a broke gauge, but it's okay. This is just my practice tank, so I just go off of the uh, the pump. So, but anyway, Hollis Sun. Um, I've got uh, Diamond Head Sights, Olight Mini Odin, uh, 14 inch barrel, smooth bore, MCS tip. Um, I cerakoted it myself, which is uh, graphite black. So these hold 11 rounds in the mag. I've got a hook grip on it. Um, MCS buttstock. I cerakoted that. This is a 15 uh, CI, but this is also a um, uh, higher output. This one I've got it shimmed up to like 1100 or so. Um, so right now, this one's probably not pushing its complete max. Uh, I've got another tank that's actually its most powerful. Uh, so anyway, and it's over. It's like 1200. But uh, anyway, so this is a carbon fiber tank, so it holds 4,500 PSI pressure instead of just 3,000. So not only is it a little bigger, it also holds a higher pressure, so you get a lot more shots out of one of these. I've got like 96 shots at, on a 40, like 49 joule or something VKS with, uh, with one of these tanks in one fill. So you don't get that much in this because this one's pushing a lot more uh, PSI output. But anyway, enough about all that. Huh. So here are donor mags, all right? So this is the whatever that company's called. <laughs> Starts with the C, ends with the tech. Um, so what I'm gonna do here. Is just take oops, everything out of this, yeah. Put your fingers, thumbs, whatever over those, pull them apart so you don't lose those little plastic pieces. They're hard to find replacements for. And then you just kind of get rid of that. All right, now you put your piercing valve in the way that it came out with the little pointy thing that pierces your CO2 toward the bottom. You can install those upside down and you'll regret it if you do. All right, and then down here. You can put that guy in there like that. All right. And you 
going to go ahead and put those two together like that. And you're going to drop that guy down in there. Drop that guy down in there. A little bitty Phillips head screw right there. Go ahead and make sure to do that before you go any further. Don't strip it. Pulls that together perfectly. All right. Drop this guy down in the hole there where it belongs. Try to get it lined up so that you can stick the bar through here. Through the spring, through the other side, you're going to put the end back on and squeeze it, center that, okay? I use one that I've put a Wixen follower on so it'll shoot shape projectiles better. Drop that down in there. That's a silver spring, but I would put a red spring if I was going to be trying to shoot shape. Put your lid back on. And there is a fully assembled 16 gram mag. And there's the 12 gram adapter. And ah, there's the really cool, very nice looking sleeve. All right. Good times. Guys, this is DK Spencer. Like and subscribe. All right, so that's what it looks like in an FSC or a TCP. And again, you can use 12 gram or 16 gram with 16 gram. Go watch uh, the video. I'll link the video um, for that one. Uh, it got two more shots because these hold eight versus six. Two more shots ending strong started four joules stronger so gain power gain the amount of shots and they look sick i'm really happy with it all right good times